Okay, so Ted, tell us about the QS200. Okay, Nikki, we're very excited about this new product. It's the first time that we can do a thermal screen on a pre-stretched frame. And in the last 20 years have been selling thermal screens, one of the issues has been registration. Now we can take this image or this mesh, put it on a Newman roller frame and stretch it to 20 Newtons and get accurate registration for multicolor printing. Okay, so let's see how it works. Okay, I'm gonna lay this down on our new thermal printer. Place it down. We use these magnets just to keep everything lined up perfectly. And then we go over here and we hit uh, the print button and it goes to a, a, a print manager. And so any software is gonna work, Corel, Adobe, a Word document, anything you wanna to send to it, it's gonna work just like a normal printer. So we just hit print, and now the image is gonna be loaded onto the uh, thermal head, and it will take about two minutes for the image to be exposed. The image size is 16 by 24, and we can put frames up here that are 23 by 30. Um, we do have different mesh counts. We have a 70 mesh, a 120, and a 200 mesh count, so we'll probably add to that down the road. And is this a special mesh that you're using, or is it normal? It is a thermal screen. The mesh comes in a roll that's 42 inches wide. You can get two screens across. In a roll, you get about 150 screens if you're using an 18 by 24 frame. Okay. Tell me some of the other features that this machine, why it's so efficient and the capability of it. Well, with thermal screen technology, the, the beauty of it, there's no chemicals. So we don't have to wash the screens out, no water, no emulsions, no dark room. We're ready to go. This is the footprint. You have a table right here, a little four foot table, a press and a dryer, and you're in business. Right. So it, it literally, to just the basic eye, just looks like it's just careening over the, the screen and leaving like a laser mark on it. And it's so precise. It is very precise. The, this thermal head is four inches and what it can do is make four passes to open up the screen. Being a heat sensitive uh, coating on the screen, it activates with the thermal screen to open up and in about two minutes time, as you see, we have the finished product. Okay, so let's go ahead and take it out and see the finished product. Okay, let me take it over here to the press and we'll print it. Okay. We have these screens already loaded that was uh, exposed to just a little bit earlier, one of them being the same image that we just exposed. And we got a three color that's perfectly lined up, so let me show you how that works for you. We'll lay the first color down. And we're just gonna dry it real fast. The neat thing about the, the thermal screens uh, with this new QS200 uh, uh, thermal screen maker is the tension. And we can get up to about 20 Newtons on a screen, whether we use a regular conventional screen or the Newman rollers, or we even have a different kind of screen where we can hand stretch it as well. Lay down the second color real quick. Dry that real fast. But the technology is wonderful. On the back side of this, when we're done, we can just take the screen out of the frame, throw it away, and no cleanup. So you don't have to worry about the chemicals, the emulsions, any washout. And the time saving is, is unbelievable. You know, I'm standing right next to this heater, and a lot of the heaters are so hot that it just makes you sweat just standing right next to them. But this is really seems like it's concentrated to where it needs to go versus flying out everywhere. That is very true, and, and we have this compact dryer that makes it very easy just to drop the shirt down when you're done. But here's our finished product. Look at that, looks great. Great color, perfectly registered, ready to go. Perfect, let's uh, dry it up. And you can see some of the other samples that have been done with the thermal screens. Uh, that's process printing right there, which is uh, also new to the thermal screen making capability.